Hey folks, how y'all doing? I'm um, doing an update video. This is July the 28th, and we're doing a little bit of changes here. I just want to see here what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to start it here with the next couple weeks, uh, if not sooner. Those four Curacera panels up there, and those two right there in the landscape mode, those, those are ones that are going horizontal, but they call them landscape mode. But I'm taking all the little solar panels off from a small off-grid system, taking those off, and I'm putting six. These two, I'm putting them up top, that upper array right up there. It'll be six across. All right. Um, and then that way, I'm going to take those five panels and add a sixth one. So I'll be 12 panels on the roof. And I'm going to get them at up higher to where those horizontal ones are right now. Right in that area right there. So those panels right down below here are going to be raised up to give me a better angle. In Virginia, for year round, a 53 degree angle is your good all year round performance angle. So I'll be putting out more power that way. Plus, I need a new roof, uh, um, and it just kind of, it's time to do it. I'm going to use all, all Iron Ridge XRS solar racking. That's what I have now. Uh, there. I just had to, to extend it out. So, I got the room. So, I'm like, what the hey? It'd be a better performance, and I'll just put the small off-grid solar panels somewhere else. And you know, come up with an idea of something, but anyway, I think it would do, do me better in the future. All right, well, let me go inside, give you a little quick update. All right, now hold on now, it's about 10 30 in the morning. All right, this is the 500 water, uh, 700 water ray on the flatter part of the roof, and yeah, we're gonna be moving that up to get a better angle so it won't be so flat. That's what we're producing right now, 420 watts, and that is at 10:30 in the morning. All right, I'll swing over here to the 1610 watt array. Okay, we're going to add another panel that's in the future to be 840 watts, but up here on the other Flex Max 80, we are producing. Let's see, 720 watts, give or take, 690, 700, all right. Okay, now on the little midnight solar charge controller, those are the two 120 watt panels that are equal to 240 watts. They are producing 12 watts. A solar. They're doing good, but that's the way the sun and the way this building sets. Alright. Hold oh, one second. Okay, folks, and the temperature, battery temperature is, and I got the air conditioning set at 64 degrees in here. It's 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright. So, we'll scroll over to here. And this is the conditions for today. It's 82 degrees out here, 70 degrees in here in the solar shop, and 82, 55% humidity, which is really good. Not bad, it's comfortable. Anyway, all right, when I show you what the the outback is doing, the flex, I mean outback mate. Alright, we got a little bit of wind today, not not enough to brag about. But wind just a bonus around this area for me. Um really just fall and spring, but there we go. We're reducing 1.1 kilowatts or eleven 1 hundred watts. And you see what it's doing. And it's doing its thing. Alright. So not too bad. Battery's fully charged. And we've been producing power since about 6 a.m. this morning. Shows the graph. 
and battery voltage, set of charge, and there we go. That was yesterday. That's that's the day, and it's coming on up there. So we're already at the 1,000 mark, but I'll get you off of there. And here's what the Bogart trimetric is doing. We're at 27.4 volts on the TM25, 2025RV, 27.3 volts. And over here, we're showing the watts we're producing. That's 107. But today, we'll probably produce around 10 kilowatts or 12 kilowatts of power, which is going to be kind of hot today. Let's get up to 88, I think. But I'm going to show you all something. Is solar really worth the money? I've been, I've been doing solar since about 2009. And this will show you how good it is. Hope y'all can see that. $13.03 is my last electric bill. Uh, June and July all right and we burnt 38 kilowatt kilowatt hours Let me get in there a little closer 38 there you go for the month of July so you look at my bill If you look at my bill right here, it shows you how much we we made. So we do the math. I see here, seven dollar eighty eight cents or distribution service, electrical supply dollar seventy six, uh, generation dollar seventy six, generation transmission twenty nine cent, fuel dollar five. Sales and surcharge three point zero three cent. State and local tax point zero five. Utility Chester County utility tax a dollar ninety seven. So in other words, I set my bill seven dollars eighty eight cent. But anyway, I'm tickled, y'all. So yes, yeah, solar is definitely, definitely worth the money. Plus, this system here. This system here is an on-grid and off-grid system, or grid-tied battery backup. So, it's definitely worth the money. I have six AGM batteries at 90 amp hours each, 270 amp hour battery bank. So, and my battery bank is right here, with all the stuff on top of it. Right there, and keeping batteries cool when in these hot summer days is it, is the deal, the real deal. And here's my kilowatt meter, right here. That is going to town. Look at that thing. That's power being produced from solar and a little bit of wind. The turbine is turning just a little bit today. There we go. And right now we're producing uh, about 1,100 watts. Right now. So anyway, it's just a little quick update. Of what are we up to? Yes, yeah, solar is definitely worth the money, and the paybacks are going to be awesome. But I want to thank y'all for watching my videos. Please subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this. And and this is what I'll be doing for the next few weeks. Reposition the solar panels and preparing the roof. All right, y'all. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. God bless and simplify. Over and out. Please subscribe.